Today, I'll cover the show Tact Op Destiny. Conductor Tact Asahina is heading to New York with Anna Schneider and a music car called Destiny, but Tact's obsession to play music attracts D2s delaying their progress. They encounter a nest of D2s in a remote industrial facility, apparently controlled by a hidden force which impedes their progress. Tact plays an upright piano to draw it out, and they discover that it is a Blackstone D2. Attracted by Black Knight Siderites, Tact calls forth Destiny and a titanic battles ensues, but she manages to destroy the stone and they continue on their journey. A flashback shows Tact to Sahina father's funeral and the period later when he was living with Anna and her sister Cosette. For years, Tact spent his time tirelessly mastering the piano in his garage, glossing over his own well-being and health. Concerning both Anna and Cosette, a month and a half before the events of the first episode, Tact discovers Cosette skillfully playing the piano, shocking him. She wants him to play publicly at the Symphonica event to be held in town the following month, but he initially refuses. Two weeks before the events of the first episode, the event rolls around and Tack does show himself in public for the first time. Cosette joins him in a four-hands rendition of popular of tempo music, delighting the crowd. However, the town is suddenly attacked by D2s. Tack's right arm is damaged and Cosette is fatally injured. As she dies, however, Cosette's white stone pendant reincarnates her as Destiny. As she transforms, Destiny bites off Tack's damaged arm and presents him with a golden conducting baton. Together, Tact and Destiny destroy a large number of D2s, then Destiny collapses. More D2s arrive, but the conductor Lenny arrives on his motorcycle with the music cart Titan and they defeat them. Later, Destiny awakens but has no recollection of her former life as Cosette. Lenny explains that without undergoing the normal music cart process, Destiny is in an unstable condition. To rectify this, Anna proposes taking Tact and Destiny to the Symphonica based in New York for treatment, and where her older sister Lot is studying. However, they must avoid the central states, which are a dead zone filled with D2 poison. Suddenly, more D2s appear and Destiny immediately attacks them, weakening Tact, which causes Lenny to suspect that Destiny's uncontrolled use of power could be depleting Tact's life force. Titan and Destiny eliminate the D2s, but Destiny destroys Tact's house in the process. Following the battle, Anna, Tact, and Destiny drive off for New York via Las Vegas, accompanied by Lenny and Titan. Ten days after Destiny's appearance, the group arrives in Las Vegas. Lenny attempts to teach Tact and Destiny to harmonize and be more effective at defeating D2s. They meet Jonathan, who takes them his farming community near Las Vegas owned by Mr. Lang, a place where he and his partner Maggie live and work with other locals who have been displaced by the D2s. Meanwhile, Destiny detects a vibration and decides to immediately investigate by bursting out through the farmhouse wall. Tact and Anna follow her through a prohibited area until they arrive at a building which contains a fully operational casino, unbeknownst to the local farmers. Lenny is already there with Lang, whose armed men try to apprehend Destiny. Suddenly, D2s burst in from below ground. Lenny instructs Tact and Destiny on how to defeat the D2s in the most efficient way, treating it as a musical performance, allowing them to complete the task with the minimum of wasted energy. During the chaos, Lang tries to escape with the profits from both the casino and farmland, but he is stopped by Titan. Later, Tact, Anna, and Destiny continue on to New York together, while Lenny and Titan depart taking information to Symphonica about Lang's dishonest dealings. A week after the events of the first episode, Commander Felix Scheindler of the New York Symphonica learns of the emergence of Tact and Destiny and decides to investigate the unknown conductor and music card himself. On the road to New Orleans, Anna, Tact, and Destiny encounter a train which Scheindler is using to transport Black Knight Siderites to his Symphonica facility in Houston accompanied by his music heart, Jiboku, and conductor, Les Music Art, Valkyrie. He invites Anna's group to travel with them, though Tact is mistrustful of Scheimer's motives. Attracted by the Black Knight Siderites, the train is attacked by a horde of flying D2s, so Destiny and Valkyrie rush out to repel them. With Tact's help in directing Destiny's blasts, they manage to destroy them. Tact becomes uncharacteristically friendly with Valkyrie, which smittens her. However, when another huge D2 appears, both Destiny and Valkyrie have depleted their energy. As such, Scheindler sends out Jibuku, who had been inactive, to destroy it. Later, Scheindler changes his delivery plans and dismisses Valkyrie. He invites Tact and Destiny to join him, but Tact pointedly refuses, leaving Scheindler fuming. As Anna, Tact, and Destiny travel on, Destiny appears to be acquiring better communication skills. They arrive in New Orleans and find it occupied only by a few elderly people. Anna and Destiny buy supplies in a small store, helping the owner dispatch groceries and fixing the floor of the lady who bought them. One elderly woman invites Anna and Destiny into her home, believing Anna is her daughter Maria. 
Her husband explains to Anna that Maria passed away a long time ago, but continues to live constantly on her mind. Alone, Tak finds a bar where they play music, including that of his late father Kenji. When Tak reveals he is Kenji's son, the owner takes him to a soundproof basement venue where he plays Rhapsody in Blue on the piano to an appreciative audience of the bar's patrons. One patron reveals he had the chance to play with Kenji when he came to New Orleans, and is pleased to know that the Asahina music lineage is in good hands. Anna and Destiny find him, and comment on Tak's immense passion on the way he plays. The trio continue on their way to New York as Conductor Sagan learns through Shinla that Takt, the son of the rooster, is alive and now a conductor. Takt and company arrive in one of a number of cities in the southern states being evacuated after heavy D2 activity. Under questioning from Anna, Takt confesses that he has been composing his own music on his mind. Anna provides him with a melodica, which he uses to help him write his composition on some music sheets. While on a walk, Takt sees Destiny providing assistance and bonding with the town's refugees, stunning him. Anna explains to him that their experiences on their journey have made Destiny more human, as have the people they have met. She also tells him it was Destiny who sourced the melodica for him, as she wants to support his love for music. In a diner, Destiny reveals to Tak she now knows she is inhabiting Cosette's body, and asks him what Cosette meant for him and Anna. Meanwhile in New York, Sagan forbids Scheindler from interfering with Takt, angering him. Back in the South, Takt and Destiny defeated D2 in the outskirts of the city. They investigate a nearby forest and encounter Scheindler and Jigoku, who demonstrates her power to attract and awaken D2s using a tuning fork, which plays a note the D2s are attracted to. Scheindler reveals that he has been using her power to clear out the poorest settlements in the country, which he sees as a drain on the limited resources. He proclaims himself a hero, as he believes he is giving rise to a nation in which only the gifted will survive. Scheindler then admits he first used Jibuku's power on Taxtown in the attack in which Cosette was killed. Takt, enraged, swears to kill him. Takt recklessly attacks Scheindler, but he is severely wounded by Jibuku. Destiny retreats, taking Takt to a nearby cave to aid him. While Takt rests, he tells Destiny how he met Cosette, and that since her death he has no one to compose for however encourages him to continue and expresses her wish of getting to listen to his music freely. Meanwhile, Lenny and Titan arrive in town and tell Anna that they are on the trail of Scheindler, who is after Takt and Destiny. Without relying on her music art power, Destiny attacks Jigoku alone, but she is overpowered until Titan intervenes to help. Lettered and Scheindler's music arts fight, until Takt appears and empowers Destiny with his directing, allowing her to fight Jigoku on equal terms. The battle rages until Tengoku, Sagan's music heart, arrives and declares that Sagan has relieved Scheindler from his position for disobeying his orders. Jigoku then follows Tengoku and abandons Scheindler, who is left humiliated and no longer a conductor. Takt and Destiny return to Anna's side, while Takt realizes that his right arm is becoming weaker. Takt, Destiny, and Anna arrive in the heavily populated New York City. As the city is the Symphonica's headquarters and has been spared from the influence of D2s, even though it is still unsafe to play music. They reunite with the rest of Anna's family and Anna's older sister, Charlotte, examines Takt and Destiny at the Symphonica headquarters. She concludes that their symbiotic condition is irreversible and that using their powers are draining both of their life forces simultaneously. The only option possible for them to live longer lives would be to stand aside from fighting and watch from afar. Charlotte and Anna take Takt and Destiny for a stroll around the city, eventually leaving the pair alone so they can enjoy some time together. On their way back home, Destiny hears the sound of Jibuku's tuning fork coming from underground, which she and Takt's suspect is being used to attract D2s. Once at home, Takt is contacted by Lenny, who instructs him to evacuate New York with Destiny and the others. Takt demands to know the real situation, so Lenny agrees to reveal to Takt the truth regarding Symphonica's intentions and the Boston incident that led to Kenji's death ten years earlier. Takt and Destiny meet Lenny and Titan. But their discussion is interrupted by Sagan, who orders Tengoku and Jigoku to attack them. During a fight, Lenny tells Tak that he was Kenji's apprentice and friend, and that he was there when Kenji was killed during the Boston incident. Lenny was later recruited by Sagan, who saw he met the necessary physical standards to become a conductor. He partnered with Titan to fight for the Symphonica, but they left the organization after they became suspicious of Sagan's motives, uncovering the truth after they interrogated Scheindler. As they battle, Destiny loses her powers when Takt collapses from exhaustion. Tengoku points her weapon at the vulnerable Takt, but Lenny shields him with his body. Mortally wounded, Lenny unleashes the full power of Titan, who severely injures Tengoku and forces Sagan to retreat. Lenny confesses to Takt that he had wanted to apologize to him in the past for having been unable to save Kenji and became a conductor to rectify his mistake. 
Tack promises to include his experiences with Lenny as a part of his music composition. As he dies, Lenny sees a vision where he is playing his cello alongside Tact and his piano, as a proud Kenji watches from the stands. Following their fight with Sagan and his music hearts, Charlotte proposes to hold Tact and Destiny in a cryogenic state while she tries to find a cure for their condition. Meanwhile, Sagan impales his hand on a Black Knight Siderite crystal in the middle of the Symphonica building, causing huge crystals containing pods of D2s to erupt throughout New York. Music hearts from all over attempt to stop the D2s, resulting in a citywide chaos. Emboldened by the cause, yet still heartbroken about Lenny's death, Titan leads Tact and Destiny into the Symphonica to rescue the two Shader sisters and stop Sagan. They are confronted by a huge number of D2s, and although they destroy them, Tact becomes even weaker. Valkyrie appears and defends Anna and Charlotte from D2s, and the two groups are reunited. Tact orders Titan to take Valkyrie, Anna, and Charlotte to safety, having resolved with Destiny that they will continue to fight to restore music, being fully aware of their predicament. Worried for their safety, Anna impulsively kisses Tact, before he and Destiny head off to search for Sagan. The pair are soon confronted by Jivoku holding the wounded Tengoku. Jivoku shoots a sound ray from her tuning fork into them, dissolving them and causing them to re-emerge as the single music heart Orpheus. Destiny inflicts severe damage on Orpheus and remains to compete the task while Tact presses forward to find Sagan. A flashback shows the battles and sacrifices Sagan made during the war against the D2s. Tack finds Sagan impaled in a siderite crystal deep within the facility. He tells Tack that he intends to seal off all the D2s with himself to save the world, but destroying the continent in the process, proclaiming it as a symphony of joy and despair. Tack rejects Sagan's plan as its extreme nature foregoes what music should truly be, a source of hope and happiness for the people. Meanwhile, Destiny manages to defeat Orpheus and joins Tack's side. Sagan realizes his mistake and accepts his fate, praising Tack's passion. Tack kills Sagan with Destiny's weapon, destroying him along the Black Knight Siderite crystals and stopping the D2s in New York. Exhausted, Destiny and Tack lay together as Tack hums the melody he had been composing as Destiny listens happy. As Tack dies, Destiny declares her love for him before sacrificing herself, reviving him. She reduces her essence to a pendant, which lays in his now restored arm. He is found unconscious by Lot, who takes him to recuperate, finding no trace of Destiny other than the small pendant on Tack's hand. Sometime later, Christmas approaches and Anna has joined the Symphonica, which is being rebuilt along with the city while Tack recovers. D2 attacks persist in certain areas, as music cards continue to fend them off. Anna now wears Destiny's pendant, giving her the ability to transform into a music card herself and support Tact, carrying on Cosette and Destiny's wish of a world where he can create and play music. Hope you enjoyed this video.